Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a Fibre macro to automatically run a macro continuously. So this video is actually uh, responding to this uh, poll livestock data in Excel video. And some of the users were asking, how can we refresh the uh, stock table in Excel using Fibre? Basically, I want to refresh this table, uh, giving the interval value. So here's my uh, stock table. So in this table, I have three stocks, Facebook, Microsoft, Tesla, and, and Coca-Cola. So four stocks. I didn't count the last one. So I want to write a macro to refresh the uh, live price every 15 minutes. So here, let's go into the Phoebe window by going to the developer tab and click on visual basic. And here I want to insert a new module and I'll name my subroutine main. So this is going to be the uh, main routine that we're going to uh, execute all the actions. So for now, I just want to uh, print a message. I'm going to print the current time. So I'll insert the null function and I'll format the uh, day value to hours, minute and second. And I'm going to insert the AM PM format. If I run the main macro, it's going to display the current time. And currently it's 7.08 uh, p.m. So we know uh, after we run, after we execute the macro, uh, the price is not going to get updated. However, when I run the macro, you'll be able to see the uh, refresh symbol or the refresh indicator. Now here's our main routine. So this is going to contain all the actions that I want to uh, want to run. Next, I'm going to create a private subroutine. And I'll name this subroutine refresh macro. In VBA, uh, from application, this library, there's a function called onTime. And this onTime function takes uh, four parameters. The first two parameters are required. We want to provide the earliest time when we want to execute a macro. And let's say I want to execute the macro. 15 minutes from the time when I run the macro. So I'll insert the null function. This will return the current uh, date and current time. Then I want to use the time serial. And this is going to be the function you want to uh, specify the interval. So let's say I want to run the main uh, macro every 15 minutes. Here I can insert our value as zero. For the minute, I can set that to 15. And for the second, I'll set that to zero. And the next parameter is asking the macro name. So here I'm going to provide the name of the macro, which is main. All right, I'm going to make a copy of this line here. I'm going to come out the first uh, statement. I'm going to change the interval to seven seconds. Now I'll go back to the uh, main subroutine. So the idea is we want to create kind of like a like a loop inside the main subroutine. We want to uh, call the refresh macro. So if we look at the setup, basically we are going to run this action. Then we're going to run this uh, refresh macro. And when we run the refresh macro, we're going to uh, call the main subroutine again, and the main subroutine will. Uh, run the refresh macro subroutine again. Basically, I'm creating an infinity uh, loop. Now, if I run the main subroutine, and right now it's uh, 7 12 54 pm. Now, I'm going to wait seven seconds. And the macro will uh, run again. Now, I'm going to click on OK. All right, so you cannot just terminate. Uh, the procedure by clicking on this uh, stop button. So if you try to use this uh, reset button, it's not going to stop the uh, main subroutine. The macro is still going to continue to run. So what we're going to do is we need to uh, put a break right here in case if you want to stop the macro keep running. Once the break is uh, placed and when this refresh macro is executed, the VBA is going to stop at this line right here. At this point, we can 
click on this reset button or the stop button to stop the macro. Now to refresh the uh, livestock table. Now I'm going to replace the message box with active workbook and this uh, refresh uh, all method. Now let's run the uh, main subroutine again. So you can uh, minimize the window. So I'm going to run the main subroutine again. And here noticing that the uh, stock icon indicator is showing the refresh symbol. Here, let's wait uh, seven seconds. And it's pretty quick, so I don't know if you uh, see that. Every time when the table is fresh, you're going to see the green uh, two arrow symbols. Now I'm going to stop the uh, routine. I'm going to put a break right here. At this point, you just have to wait seven seconds. Now I can stop the process. Now if I want to refresh this uh, data table, all you need to do is just need to uh, change the time serial value to 15 minutes and zero seconds. All right, so this is something to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.